Our next uh, speaker is in public relations. Uh, you no doubt know her as Lish. Does anybody know Lish? Yes. Very talented, uh, bilingual, so muy divertido en biblioteca, por favor. Little thing. I got it going. Uh, but tonight, it, I think most of her presentation will be in English. Her full name is Alicia Vandergrift Nieva Woodgate. And her presentation is Mr. Mayor, please save Denver. Give it up for Lish! So I'm from New York, um, and we tend to be a little insular, but I've had the pleasure of living in some amazing cities. Um, New York is a great city, uh, but um, I uh, think that there's some amazing other cities in the world, like I've lived in Austin and San Francisco, two cities that are going through some really bad changes right now. Uh, well, Austin has done some great things with the city, but I think you've read about San Francisco, some a lot of negative press lately, and it's something that we don't want to see happen here in Denver. Now I'm in Denver, and I really love the city, and you all know why. It's such a fantastic city. I live on the 16th Street Mall, and uh, every day you see some incredible things happening in the city. Uh, you hang around the 16th Street Mall, and uh, you see parades of people going by. Now you know why we love the city. Amazing food, you've got um, the uh, cruiser culture, you've got the beer culture, you've got amazing museums. We know why we love the city, right? It's such a fantastic city. Um, right, right? We've got the cool and funky museum art, we've got 300 days of sun every day. Who doesn't love that? Although we had that snow thunder last night, what was that? <laughs> Although we didn't have it downtown, everyone else did. I don't know why we didn't. Um, but you know, stick around. We love our outdoors, we love our dogs, we love the parks. Um, you know, it's, it's just such a thing that we love about Denver. It's such a unique city and that's why everyone's moving here. Number six in the country as to why people are moving here. We know those Californians, we know why they're coming here. I'm one of them. We cherish our parks. We're number, we have 205 parks, more than any other city in the country. Um, it's, it's an amazing, you know, system. That's one of the reasons, another reason why everyone moves here. Slash ball, we know why we love it. We've got incredible architecture outside of Chicago. We've got the federal buildings, we've got Victorians. This is Washington Park, Wash Park. It's such a beautiful city and we want to keep it that way. But there's a lot of change happening. And, um, you know, our tourists come here all the time. Uh, not just because of the skiing, but it's because they want to come here and see what an incredible city it is. How many of you have come here and you never leave? You know, you came from another city? How many? Right? Exactly. And you've got the unique people. This is the 16th Street Mall. You see them every day. It's, you know, Portland and Austin. You're not the only ones who want to keep this place weird. You know? we, we, love, we love Denver. It's such a unique place. And um, we want to keep it that way. And there's a lot of change happening. You look at Union Street Station. They've done an incredible job. There are great plans. You're going to see an incredible development there. And they've done a really great job, but um, not all parts of Denver are going to be that cool and unique. There are a lot of places like the um, rubber plant where the development hasn't gone through. They're hoping to bring a higher education, but the plan sort of fell through. And we really hope that they do something cool and unique there and that it doesn't end up like this, which is yet another boring, just another box, which is where we're seeing a lot of this happening in Denver. Kind of boring, sort of no imagination, mixed views, have, we've heard this all before, right? It's sort of ugh, you know. Um, there are some cool things, this is Fillmore and Cherry Creek, they've got some cool buildings going, but this is not the norm for what's going on in Denver. More and more we're seeing just big box buildings going up, they look the same. Everywhere you go in Denver, there's construction, and this is what it's looking like. Really ugly, ugly. Can you tell the difference? These are two different developments up here in the Highlands, and they look really ugly. Ugly, 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 ugly. It's, it's, ugh. Um, it looks like a dorm on some campus. Now this is in Santa Monica, and they've done really good use of space and, and the environment. It looks really neat, and this takes imagination. Are you listening, developers? This is cool. Why can't you do something like this? Why, 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 why? Does it cost too much? Now with urban density, a lot of the things happen. Prices go up, rents go up, and the homeless get shoved out, and that's not fair. This is happening in San Francisco, and we're starting to see it happen in Denver, and we really need to do something about it. Mayor Hancock keeps talking about the lack of services. This is what I see outside of my door every day. 
and we really need to do something about these people because it's not fair to them. We need to have services for them because more and more we're seeing people sleeping on the RTD. And I hear people on the RTD bus on the 16th Street Mahone go, ugh, Denver, yuck. We don't want to hear that about our city. And it's not fair to these people. We really want to keep our city beautiful. It should be fair for everybody. We want to keep people moving here, but we want to build the services and we want everyone to be happy. Please keep our city beautiful, Mr. Mayor. Please save Denver. Thank you so much.